Good morning, Coach. Good morning. How you doing? Great, Coach. Appreciate you asking. Coach, as always, thank you so much for joining us on these calls. If you would, Coach, just start us out with a recap of your team's most recent outing at Gramlin State. Well, we gave out the players of the week to offense, defense, and special teams for Gramlin, so we did a lot this week. Uh, cool. But uh, yeah, we went down to Gramlin, and we knew it was going to be a tough environment. You know, their homecoming, uh, they had to get backs up against the wall there. They had a loss. So we knew they was going to fight. Coach Fobbs going to have those guys ready. And um, we did, went out and did what we wanted to do. We got out to a 14-zip lead and uh, wasn't able to sustain it. Uh, then they went on a 24 unanswered uh, scoring barrage and uh, was up 24 to 14 at halftime. And, and so we said we got to go in and uh, readjust. And actually the defense was playing good. The offense was just putting them in bad situations. Um, we had a penalty out the touchdown, marked off 15 yards, so they got to start at the 50. Uh, then we turned the ball over and gave it to them on that side. And uh, they did a onside, well, a sky kicking, recovered it, had a short field and uh, hit the quarterback. He fumbled. They scooped and scored. And so just uh, seemed like everything could go wrong for us, did and everything go right for them, did. Uh, but you got to take your hats off to Coach Five. He had his guys ready to play. And so um, they came out, scored first in the third quarter, got us down. Then fourth quarter, we try to make a comeback. We got uh, scored twice. Um, and then we got the ball back with two minutes and like 15 seconds left, down six points. Right where we want to be, as bad as we had played and as good as they played. And uh, we still had the opportunity to win the game. And uh, one of our balls uh, got tipped and intercepted, and uh, that kind of did it for us. So, um, unfortunate, you know, we had six turnovers. You're not going to be able to beat anybody with six turnovers and one on special teams. So, really, seven turnovers. Not gonna be to beat any teams with seven turnovers and mess less a, a good football team. So um, we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. We've been doing it all year long. Um, we turned it over three times a game, the first three games, and we were fortunate. We were really fortunate to be three and one uh, with 15 turnovers in four football games. So uh, we got a lot of work to do, and uh, we got we got to get going. Appreciate those comments, Coach. We'll now open up for questions for Coach Maynard. If you do have any questions for Coach, if you would, please utilize the raise your hand feature here on Zoom to get your question in queue for Coach. Our first question goes to Rashad Milligan. Good morning, Coach. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Now moving on to uh, next week, bouncing back from last week's loss. Um, you know, what, what are you really seeing from Jackson State so far and kind of your early scouting report? Well, they got a good football team. Uh, they much improved. Uh, Coach Sanders done a good job with those guys in a short period of time, uh, the spring last year and the uh, fall of this year. Um, the biggest improvement, of course, has been on defense. Uh, well, last year they gave a lot of points. They played a lot of cover two and uh, didn't really change anything. And this year uh, they're playing a lot of man. They blitz and they come from everywhere. They playing fast and, um, and they got a good defense, not giving up a lot of points. So uh, offensively, um, they're not as good as they were last year for whatever reason. Um, um, but assured the, the quarterback is Deion Sun is playing well at quarterback. Um, but for whatever reason, they're just not putting up the points they did last year. So um, they're getting worked out. Uh, hopefully not this week. Um, but uh, they got a good football team and uh, we got to be ready to play and we will. Quick follow up to that. Um, you know, how, how do you expect your guys to respond? You know, you guys have has been discussed before, uh, ranked in the FCS poll, number one in a lot of swag and uh, black college football rankings throughout the year, reigning spike champions. And then, you know, you kind of get punched in the mouth this past weekend. How do you expect your guys to uh, respond to that? Like champions, we, we're going we're gonna to fight back. We're going to punch back. Um, um, and Roger said it best, man, it's one game. It's one game. So uh, nobody said it was going to win them all. Um, you know, again, take a hats off the – Coach uh, Fobbs and congratulate him on a good win at home. Um, but we okay. We we uh, we still control our own destiny. You know, we lost on to um, the other side, and so if we can just take care of business this week and the next week, just one at a time, and uh, went out, we we still control our own destiny. We we're fine. We just got to clean up some stuff. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Next question goes to Kendrick Marshall. 
Yeah, Coach, um, you talked about turnovers being kind of a bugaboo for you guys uh, early in the season, um, particularly with um, your quarterback, Akil Glass. He had four against Grambling on Saturday. Um, what did Grambling do uh, against him that made Saturday so difficult for him? Uh, well, they just fly around, man. They, they go hard every play. But uh, it was a lot of tip balls. Um, I think three of the interceptions was tipped. And uh, that's part of the game, though. Uh, they defense alignment or they linebackers uh, got their hands up and tip balls and made plays. And that's part of the game, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, again, hats off to those guys. They played hard and they caused those turnovers. So um, we got to get it cleaned up where we throw it around them, get those hands down and uh, just sure up our, our uh, protections and, and take care of the football. That's as simple as that. And one quick follow up. Um... Saturday is going to be a big game for you guys playing against Jackson State, who, as you said earlier, is a much improved football team. How do you not overstate the importance of, of that game and what it means for the SWAT East standings? Well, it's the biggest game of the season because it's the next football game, not because it's Jackson, not because it's homecoming. Uh, it's the next football game, and it's always going to be that way. This game sets up the next game. So we got to take care of business this week and then make uh, the next game where we play next week the biggest game of the season. And it will be because it'll be the next game. So uh, you gotta take them one at a time. You, you can't look ahead, you can't look past. It's a tough conference and uh, you can get beat every week, man. You, you you mess around and look up, you've been lost three or four in a row. So you gotta stay focused and take them one at a time. All right, thanks. Yes, sir. Next question goes to Dr. Cavill. Coach Maynard. Doc. Top five matchup. I know this is what we do on the media side. We get excited about these matchups, but for you, it's just another game for the players. You got to keep them focused. Um, talk about all the things around that and, and what do you do over the years to um, get your team to focus and not worry about being homecoming, not worry about the media talking about top five matchups, the game of the week, or television, all that good stuff. That's all good. You, you want to play in games like that. You want the games to mean something. You want the guys to get fired up. You want those guys to want to practice, want to lift weights, want to watch extra tape, want to do some extra running. You want the game to mean something. You want to be in this position where you got a TV game, you got a big game. It means something. You don't want to be playing in a game where it don't matter if you lose the game, you win the game, you, the guys ain't fired up, nobody's enthusiastic. This, this is what we live for. This is what we work for. This is why we come here. And uh, this is a big game this week. And uh, but you got to continue to do the little things. You got to continue to do your film study. You got to continue to work hard and practice. You got to continue to uh, lift weights and, and work hard and uh, let all the all the other stuff fall where it may. We don't worry about the step shows and comedy shows and all the other shows. Our guys ain't going to that. The guys on my football team that go to those things are regular students, okay? If you go to one of those things, you will be a regular student because that's what the regular students do. That's homecoming is for them. It's for the alumni. So you want to go to that stuff? That's fine with me. You won't be playing football for A&M. So that's how I keep them focused. Makes sense, Coach. No problem. I'll make sure I let all y'all know how all those things went. All right. Okay. <laughs> Take care, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you for Thank your Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Currently taking questions for Coach Maynard with Alabama a &M. Any final questions for Coach? Coach, as always, appreciate your time. Look forward to speaking with you again next week. Okay. Hey, uh, Coach Sanders, I, I hurt my ankle uh, getting off the bus the other day. You got an extra scooter for me? If you got an extra scooter, send me one down here. Thank you.